Pow! What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and we gotta talk about why haters hate on Logic. Oh man! Hate, 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 hate. I've been watching Logic for a couple of years now, and it's just amazing because he's had so much success as an indie rapper. You would think he would be more of a media darling at this point because he's had success fan base wise. He's had success on the actual charts. And then a lot of people, especially ones who hate on him, still seem to agree that he's actually good at rapping technically. So why do haters hate on Logic? Well, we're gonna discuss that in this video, of course, and none of the reasons are because he talks about being biracial. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here's three reasons. Number one, Logic does too much at once. Now one popular thing that people talk about from this perspective is just the fact that he has all these styles that he puts together. Whether he's sounding like Kendrick, J. Cole, Wu-Tang, so many other people that he's influenced by. And then he also takes all these visuals, right? Not just his rap influences, but these visual influences. And he's just this melting pot of all these influences and he's putting them together. And it leaves you to say, who is Logic? Where is the death within Logic? From a positive fan standpoint, you might appreciate all the references, especially if you're the quote unquote nerd type who are, who's interested in the type of things that he is. And then even from the hipster fan type, it just wears those old band shirts that you don't even listen to. There's a lot of appreciation for the things that he talks about. But then from the negative standpoint, there's gonna be that copycat perspective, who are you really yourself? But that's something that's talked about a lot from a far deeper perspective is this. It's really the fact that he still even does too much in terms of how he approaches his societal issues as well. Consider Kendrick Lamar's To Pimp a Butterfly album. Now that was a super strategic project. Kendrick had a larger than life goal for it. He was really trying to make an impact, which he stated even before that album dropped. Overall, it was about black imagery, this enlightenment and really loving yourself. Now this video isn't about Kendrick's project, so I'm not going deeper than that, but consider Logic's Everybody. This project was literally about everybody and empathizing with everybody's struggles. Though Kendrick Lamar talked about struggle and empathizing with it and tried to push people forward and make them feel better, it was more singular because it was about black people, black culture. If anybody else chose to be inspired by it, that's great as well. Logic was about everybody and it's hard to push everybody forward at one time. Logic went wide, Kendrick went deep. And once again, when you're constantly bringing all these subjects and influences together, it's hard to come up with something of deep substance because each of these things pretty much deserves its own individual platform time to go deeper in it. So what ends up happening is even his deep stuff lacks depth. Hey, 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 hey. That leads to the second thing, his overly positive brand image. Now to put this in perspective, consider other rappers that have a positive brand like J. Cole, Kendrick, Lil Yachty, Chance the Rapper, even Triple X had a positive brand in his own way. The biggest difference between Logic's positivity and these other rappers that I mentioned's brand image is the fact that Logic decided to own the word positive. To the point that he repeats it over and over again, it's a part of his mantra of peace, love, and positivity. The problem is when you wear a word like positivity on your sleeve, it starts to feel inauthentic. Of course, promoting positivity is a positive thing, but it loses its value over time when people keep hearing it. And then when you couple that with the fact that there's not other parts of his brand image where you can really start to focus on with him in comparison to other rappers where obviously Triple X had a lot going on and obviously Kendrick had not just positivity, but he had the hood. He had the story of him being a good kid from the hood. He had the black power type stuff. Lil Yachty obviously has his variation. It doesn't leave a casual fan much else to grab a hold of. And even worse, when you wear positivity on your sleeve, over time, it kind of becomes condescending to other people. Oh, I'm going to be positive. I'm going to be the bigger man. And even a little dismissive to some things that might be legitimate, but happen to be negative. And then something that makes it even worse or maybe easier for people who hate on Logic to hate on him is the fact that his positivity is pretty cookie cutter. The way he communicates issues when we talk about a project like everybody. Overall, he seems to more push this message of everybody is the same, treat everybody the same, equality versus embracing differences. And I know it sounds like it's the same thing, but it really isn't. Think about Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. That's pretty much considered a successful message that resonated and it's more so talking about bringing all these different types of people together and treating them equal. If you look at a lot of successful artists that really preach equality, that's more the angle that a lot of them are coming from artistically. 
I love who I am. I embrace my differences. I'm not going to let you keep me from loving myself, but then also I treat everybody equally. He kind of just jumps the gun and makes the world seem so cookie gutter. It should be this way. It's so idealistic that he kind of does this Disney-like effect. That's how the haters feel. I get everything should be better. However, to touch on it all at once just leaves you being shallow from so many different angles. Even if you look at the 1-800 song, the way it quickly goes from, I don't want to be alive to I want to be alive. I just want to die. I finally want to be alive. It's kind of weird when you combine that positive messaging and then the fact that once again things tend to be kind of shallow not going deeper. It leaves you in a space for a lot of criticism for people who are thinking a little bit deeper. Him touching on so many things at so many times just happens to take the bite out of things. Even when you look at some of his boom bap records it's just such a cleaner version of boom bap that it's not even truly boom bap. It's not raw enough. He makes it too clean and Disney like. But maybe you can blame that on the producer. Number three is victimization. The way he talks about his biracial struggles a lot of times it does tend to be from a more victim standpoint. As I said, this video has less to do with him being biracial and how that gets brought up, but it has a lot more to do with some things he does and how him doing it and the way that he does create some hate from some perspectives. It feels like he's trying to be accepted. He's looking for acceptance a lot of times versus once again, owning his differences and owning what he has and bringing other people into his world. Maybe it's American culture, maybe it's culture at large, but generally speaking, when you come in asking for acceptance, you're not gonna get as well received versus owning who you are, saying this is what I am, yeah, this is what I went through, but let me show you the world from my vantage point. Eminem did a great job when he pretty much owned the fact that he was a white rapper, and then introduce you to what he went through as a white rapper, but also introduce you to this entire world of his perspective. And a lot of things that you could pretty much consider to be white humor and other versions of things that you wouldn't have got in the game if it wasn't for him. And since logic just comes in like he does, which I'll get deeper into a full video really going deeper into this biracial thing that he has going on and how it might be better presented. Because right now it's resulting in a lot of misunderstanding. It's not that there aren't any genuine struggles of being biracial. But then you have a lot of people saying, I don't know what his struggles are. I don't understand how bi being biracial is a struggle. Which makes him seem even more so like he's complaining and negatively affecting his brand because he's coming from that victimization standpoint as opposed to just hitting you with this different world that you're not used to. I know that there's interviews where he's pretty much saying that I don't really care what people think at this point about my race, I am who I am, but it doesn't feel that way. It feels like he still cares and wants that acceptance. And haters gonna hate. They smell that shit like shark smell blood. The last thing you ever wanna need is a hater's approval. Anyway, that's it for now. I just really think that Logic has one of the most interesting yet misunderstood brands and personas considering where he is in the game. And I would love to know what you guys think about Logic. What turns you off or what turns you on and everything in between? Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.